Welcome back! We've had a long break with our videos. Now it's finally time to start catching up again. Our last episode and the end of that season had us leaving our boat, Jemaya, in Grenada for the hurricane season and me, Steffi and Leo went back home to Sweden to visit family and friends for a few months. In this episode, we come back to Grenada, get right back into fixing the boat and getting it ready for cruising, sail up to Martinique even though it's still hurricane season to get some parts for the boat. All of this happened a bit more than a year ago, so we have a lot of catching up to do, but a lot has also happened in that year, so we're really excited to share that journey with you guys. Hope you enjoyed the episode. We are just about to get back to the boat. We arrived in Grenada yesterday, and uh, today we're gonna check into the boat. So we're just here by Spice Island Marine. Steph and Leo are ready. I'm starting to feel a bit worried, uh, worried, nervous. Nervous. Really nervous. nervous. There hasn't been any hurricanes while we've been gone, but there's been one uh, earthquake so far. So we'll see how she looks, and uh, I think what we're most worried about is like mold and cockroaches and rats and stuff like that. So yeah, let's see how that goes. Oh, I'm super nervous. It feels super strange to be back, but I'm excited. I just hope everything is okay inside the boat. So, but yeah, I think my my heart is beating a bit. Let's go. Let's go. Check her out. Let's go see how it looks. Come on, here. how about it? There she is. Now we're back to our boat, back to our our dream. Where are we gonna? Whoa, I'm really sweaty. <laughs> Sweat on the over upper lip never happens in Sweden. Never. Well, yeah, we've been back in Sweden for three months and it's been really nice hanging out with family and friends and now we're back on the boat and yeah, it feels emotional. I don't know how to describe it. It's both exciting but also a bit sad because we don't know when we'll meet family again and friends. So mixed emotions. It's gonna be interesting to see what she looks like on the inside now. Chris will be back soon. So, we haven't paid anyone to go inside our boat or nothing so it should be right as as we left her the same status yeah let's hope that yes What's your name? Papel. 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 Vänta, vänta, Leo. Du får vänta lite. Vänta lite. Ja, vänta lite. Nu är Leo komma ner. Ja, nu får Leo komma ner. Leo går. Mm. I can't smell any mold. Oh, Oj. I think we have a leak. Oj. A leak somewhere there. Yeah. Ha? This is really, really good. Yeah? I can't smell any mold. There's no... Uh, I don't see any obvious signs of tons of cockroaches. No, it just smells like... Boat. And now you can see the, the mess we left everything in. We might have some problems with the, the batteries. Because the battery monitor said low, but the voltage is good. 
but we have two solar panels attached, so it should be fine, but we'll see. Turns out it wasn't fine, but we didn't know that yet, and before we could get Jemaya back in the water, we had to strip all the old paint off and get the bottom repainted. Daddy's back. Daddy's back. We gotta take a shower, I think. We had decided to change our bottom paint from a hard Teflon based copper paint, VC17, to something better suited for the areas we were planning to go cruising in. Since our old paint had Teflon in it, we had to strip it all off the hull before we could get a new bottom paint to stick on there. To strip all the old paint off the hull was one of the worst things I've ever done on the boat. Life on a boat on the hard is really, really hard. So it felt really good to get Jemaya back in the water and slowly unpack our bags and get our back life in order. Soon after we got Jemaya back in the water, we realized that two out of our five batteries were completely dead. So this needed our immediate attention and after some internet research, we came up with a plan. All right, so good morning. We just started the engine and we're about to leave from uh, Grenada and going up to Martinique. It's still very much hurricane season but we checked the weather, it looks calm, so we're gonna go up to Martinique because we need some new batteries. And they're 400 US dollars cheaper in Martinique than they were in Grenada, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do. And uh, it looks like it's gonna be a really nice trip. You ready? I'm ready, let's go. So Fine. good. Thank you so much for watching and I really hope you liked it. In our next video we get to Martinique and things start breaking on the boat. We end up almost wanting to give up living on a boat, but more about that in the next one. See you then.